Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time we are going to do the waterproofness test of the iPhone 10. Now uh, there, there are a lot of videos on waterproofness on uh, the iPhone 10. Nothing really happens to it. Uh, but I wanted to do some more tests on it. Uh, so the first test is going to be the swimming pool test. So I'll be putting it in the water for 5 feet and see if anything happens to it. Uh, then we'll do the steam room test. So basically we'll be taking it to the steam room and then uh, keeping it there for 5 minutes. Uh, now steam has a problem with waterproof phones because uh, the waterproof phones are actually uh, stuck together uh, and with heat that uh, place gives way so uh, water can go in so heat is a big problem of, uh, for waterproof phones so that's why we're going to test it in the steam room also to see if anything happens to the iPhone 10 there so let's go ahead and put this in the water first and then see if uh, it survives the swimming pool first Okay, so now we're going to uh, put the phone in the water. So there's another camera inside. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Actually, that's the one. So hopefully that gives you a better view of the phone falling. So let's go ahead and put the phone in the water and see uh, if anything happens to it. Whoa, it's actually very heavy. <laughs> I can't just leave it uh, because uh, it'll hit the floor and the glass might break. So I'll just gently keep it down. Okay, so the phone is out of the water. Let's see. Okay, let's keep them both like this. So the phone is out of the water. Let's see if it's working. Okay, so it's working. Uh, okay, so the touch screen is also working. Let's see if Face ID is working or not. Okay, Face ID is also working. So everything is working fine. Uh, now let's take it to the steam room and then see if it's working fine in the steam room or not. Okay, so we're going to do the steam room test now. Uh, we're going to take the iPhone 10 and put it in the steam room next to the steam nozzle itself where the most amount of heat comes out. Uh, so uh, that is a no-no to most of the uh, waterproof phones. So you should not be putting it next to a, a heat source because that will um, melt the uh, stick the there's a sticky substance used i don't know what substance is used to uh, seal waterproof phones but uh, that does not agree with heat so heat actually makes it expand and water can go in so let's see if this is strong enough to uh, go against heat from steam that's coming out from a steam room so let's go ahead uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the steam room test now Steam will take some time to start. So what I'll do is I'll show you where I'm keeping the phone. So let me just show you where the nozzle is. So that's the steam nozzle. And I'll keep the phone right here so it gets the entire amount of heat. Okay, so the steam has started now. So you can see the steam is coming out. So there's a lot of heat in it and the iPhone 10 is kept right here. So the entire time the camera will be rolling so you will see that I'm not even removing the phone, it's going to be there. And let's see if it survives the heat or not. Okay, uh, it's been three minutes in the steam room. So nothing has really happened to it, uh, okay, everything is working fine, so no problem, uh, I'll be using it for around uh, half a day at least and then see if there's any effect of steam on it and then we'll be talking about this. Okay, so you guys have seen the video, now uh, after using it for half a day, um, I realized that there's a problem with the phone so that's why i had to test it two more days again so i tried putting it underwater for a longer period of time and then checked it so there is one problem that you'll face 
uh, which is the earpiece the one that you use to take calls that will get water in it so once the water goes in the water the sound will get muffled and you'll not be able to hear properly so that's going to be a big problem for a lot of people it was a problem for me because uh, it was unexpected i did not think about it i was just using the phone and then someone called me and i was not able to hear the person properly i had to put on the speaker phone so uh, then later on i tapped the phone and then there was a lot of water coming out of it so uh, just make sure that in case you're putting it under water uh, if it goes beyond 5 feet or maybe even 5 feet uh, the water pressure will make the water go into the earpiece rest no where the water goes in nothing happens but the earpiece will stop working properly till the time the water goes out now the problem is there the water does not go out that fast so the water took me around one entire day for for the water to go out naturally but in case you want to remove it faster you can always put it in a bowl of rice and then the water will go out uh, but that water is not going to damage your phone the water gets uh, collected in the earpiece the chamber over there and it stays there and if it naturally goes away in one day it's fine if not you'll have to tap it out a little bit or maybe put it in a bowl of rice other than that no problem steam room no problem i was surprised that this did not get heated up most of the glass phone that i've used uh, even metal phone that i've used they get heated up in uh, water situation in heat situation uh, like steam situation it really gets heated up this one did not get heated up so i was surprised by that uh, steam proof waterproof and uh, rough and tough device yes it's made of glass so if you drop it then something will happen to it that's why i did not uh, drop it in the water because i was afraid that it'll hit the bottom of the pool and then the glass might shatter so other than that everything else is fine so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye